Anyone who owns a dog, cat, or rabbit probably has had this happen at one time or another. And this is what the result usually looks like. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. The first thing you'll want to do is take some cutters and just amputate the bad part of the cable. Now the goal is to splice the two remaining pieces back together. Start by using a knife or razor and carefully cutting away about an inch of the rubber insulation. But be careful not to cut too deep or you'll damage the wires inside. Eventually you should be able to pull the insulation off, revealing the wires inside. Be sure to do the other side and both sections should look like this. Next thing you'll need to do is strip back the insulation on the smaller interior wires. Again, being very careful not to damage the wire inside. Once you get them stripped, twist the strands to make them more uniform piece of wire. They should look like this when finished. Then do the other side. Eventually all four should look like this. Okay, now it's time to get the soldering iron out. The goal here is that you want to tin the leads with solder, but don't heat them up too much or you'll melt the insulation. Now we need to measure off the heat shrink. So put the wires about like this, overlapping slightly. Now you can figure out how much heat shrink you will need. Okay, next go ahead and slide the heat shrink over the wire and pull it back to a safe distance where it's away from the heat. If you want, you can try using smaller heat shrink for these wires, but this is really hard to do because they tend to shrink before you're ready for them. So I won't be using these. So now it's time to line these wires up and melt them together. I know I look really shaky with the soldering iron, but I'm at a really hard angle here with the camera in my way. Okay, the next step is to use pliers and work out any sharp edges or angles that might eventually tear through the insulating tape. Okay, since I'm not using heat shrink on the smaller wires, I'll be using plain electrical tape. Okay, now it's time to pull the heat shrink over the new area. And use a cigarette lighter or a heat gun to shrink the stuff into place. The final product will look like this. Alright, just a few final notes on this. Um, for anybody who thinks that this splice looks ugly, I would just like to mention it usually looks better if you have black heat shrink on a black cable or in this case with a white cable I should have white heat shrink and uh, this is just what I happen to have on hand so that's what I used. Um, also it looks kind of lumpy <clears throat> and it would actually be possible if you wanted to take the time you know I just put the one strip of tape around uh, but if I wanted to take the time uh, to pad the tape where it was even all the way across um, this would look less lumpy um, when when you shrunk the heat shrink. Um, I'd also like to mention some cables, um, instead of having two wires in them, uh, are more like a coaxial cable where you have a shield of wiring around with a center wire in the middle. And you can still slice those too. Uh, typically all you have to do is, is take the shield and uh, pull it out and, and twist it around and make it like a, a single wire. Uh, so you can do either kind. Anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful to somebody, and uh, I'll see you next time.